What's up guys? My name's Eric. Thanks for tuning in to the Flow Bash channel. Love seeing those smiling faces in each of these videos. So today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about two of the best upgrades you can make to your boat trailer. And now again, this is in my opinion the best upgrades, but definitely take a look at these and I bet you I will be able to change your mind. So the first one I'm gonna be talking about are upgrading your trailer lights. So if we first take a look at the factory light that came on my trailer, and this is probably what came on most of your trailers, this thing looks like it came from like a 1944 Willys MB that was shipped across the Atlantic to fight the Germans in World War II. This thing is absolutely a piece of crap. Now, contrary to what the name suggests, these are definitely not waterproof. I mean, just take a look at the inside right here. Water is, there's definitely some gaps and slots that water is definitely gonna make its way into and fill up this entire housing. And that's not good because these lights right here use your regular double filament bulb that get blazing, blazing hot. And what happens when you back your trailer in, if you don't remember to unplug your trailer lights is, well, cold water, hot bulb equals kaboom. <laughs> Here I've pulled out the guts to my light and I mean just look how crusty this thing is. This has definitely been hit with water plenty and plenty of times contrary to dry launch. Definitely not dry and this thing's actually still wet from my outing that I took yesterday. So yeah, definitely not good. Now the solution is to get yourself an LED trailer light kit. These are absolutely great. You can pick these things up at any marine or boating supply store or you can even get them on Amazon or anywhere online. Do your research and see which one is gonna work best for you. Now these right here, these are fully sealed. There is no way water is going to intrude inside of these housings, which is absolutely fantastic. So I don't have to worry about unplugging the trailer before I launch the boat into the water. And what's included in these kits you're gonna get obviously your two trailer lights. So these will be your running, break and turn signal. And then if we can find, haha, the driver's side comes with the license plate illumination lamp as well. So that's perfect. We have our LED side markers. So that's great too. These are gonna be nice and bright. And then it comes with some various hardware. I definitely don't recommend using the stock hardware depending on what you receive in the package. These just come with these little like twist ties where you just twist the wires together and that's it. We're gonna upgrade those. We've got some stainless hardware to bolt the lights to the trailer. We've got our pads here and somewhere is the license plate bracket. But anyways, and then of course it comes with new trailer wiring. Now, depending on the condition of your trailer, you may have to replace all of the wiring. So these kits are absolutely fantastic. If you've got a really, really old trailer, it's just, Better safe than sorry to just upgrade the entire wiring. Now, fortunately, this trailer and boat is a 2015, so I don't have to do that. So all my connections in the back, I can just splice into those and tidy everything up, and I'll have some working trailer lights. I don't have to upgrade the wiring, thankfully, but if I had to, you know I would have done it. And depending on that hardware, you may need to pick up some butt connectors and ring terminals. I definitely recommend getting the weatherproof ones so you can use either a hairdryer or a heat gun and they will shrink up and create a watertight seal for your wiring. Not really a huge issue, but it's just gonna help this last much, much longer. These LED trailer lights are going to make you much, much more visible to other drivers on the road. And that is just huge, especially for me here in Southeast Florida. You guys know how terrible people drive here. So definitely an awesome upgrade. I want people to see me so they don't come crashing into the back of my boat. It's gonna help protect you, protect your investment, and just help keep everyone safe on the road. And the next upgrade are some boat buckles. Oh man, I cannot wait for these. Those boat buckles are going to get rid of this stupid tie down strap. Now granted, if you have to use a ratchet strap, it definitely works. I mean, it keeps the boat nice and secure, but guys, this thing is a pain in the butt. I want something much safer, a lot quicker, a nice big thick strap and those bolt buckles are gonna do it. Yeah, so these guys are more of a convenience item, but they do play a role in extra safety as well. They really keep the back of the boat locked down. You can really wrench them down. The strap is super extra thick and heavy duty. It's basically a seatbelt buckle, and those things last forever. So I'm really, really excited to get these on the boat because I just, I hate dealing with that ratchet strap. The boat buckles, you just hook them, lock them down. It's very, very quick. It just makes the whole process a lot easier, a lot faster 
and of course, we've got that safety factor too. Now, these upgrades you guys can do right here in your own home, in your garage or in your driveway. They're very, very easy. Now, if you're not confident in working on your own trailer or your boat, like I've said before in some of my previous how-to videos, I'm here to give you guys the confidence to be able to do it yourself. Watch the video, see how it's done, and then you'll be able to replicate it, do it right there in your own driveway. So first, let's get started on the lights. Before we get started, take a look at how crappy the stock lights are on this trailer, and then I'll do a comparison once I have the new lights installed so you can really, really see the difference. Now, before you go ahead and bolt these things up, you wanna go ahead and take care of your ground situation. Now, I highly recommend if your hardware, like mine, didn't come with ring terminals, you wanna go ahead and crimp a ring terminal to this, and this way, you're gonna slide the ring terminal on the back of here, and when it gets all bolted down, it grounds itself to the trailer. So let's do that. Now, if you don't have a heat gun to shrink the tubing here, the lighter works just fine. Just be careful not to overcook it. If you look real closely, you'll see some goop kind of came out the end of the connector there. That's going to help create a nice weather tight seal so no water gets inside your wiring. That's why I strongly recommend using those weatherproof connectors when you're doing your wiring for any project. All right, so I'm gonna start on the passenger side of my trailer, no reason. So you wanna make sure you have the passenger side light. It doesn't have the license plate illumination. And then also you can take a look at the wiring. If you're gonna use your existing trailer wires, they actually color code this stuff universally throughout the entire industry. So we've got brown and green on the trailer brown and green on the light. So we just match the colors up to the colors and then white is our ground. All right, so if you take a look how I applied the ground I stuck the connector up and kind of pushed it to the side here so it's not hanging down. This is just gonna help keep this from getting caught on anything when you're backing into the ramp. And then once it's all said and done, I'm gonna tuck all these wires up and make everything nice and pretty. Another thing to note is that when you're tightening down these bolts, you don't have to go ham sandwich. This is a plastic housing, so you don't want this to crack because then water's gonna get inside here and that's no good. So just ham tight, don't go crazy. Feel it, go very slow and then you'll be good to go. So next up, we just gotta connect the wires to the wires. All right, so once you're finished connecting everything, just tuck your wires up nice and neat. I've got them up underneath the trailer and zip tied back here. It's really difficult to show you, but just make sure it's out of the way so it doesn't get caught on anything when you're backing in and out of the ramp. And that's basically it. So on the driver's side, before you go ahead and do any of these steps, you wanna make sure you pass the wires through the hole in the license plate bracket. Then you run it through the trailer and get everything bolted up like this first before you go ahead and make your connections. Ask me how I know. That was a really, really easy installation. There's no extra wire that you have to wire up when doing the license plate illumination. It runs off of the same circuit as just your normal running light. So that's awesome. Now I just have to go ahead and do the, excuse me. Now I just have to go ahead and do the side markers up front. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys a before and after of the side markers and the tail lights. It's just, it's night and day difference. Now the side markers are a little bit different story. They actually riveted them on to the trailer here. So I'm gonna have to drill these rivets out and then figure out how I'm going to attach the new side markers. They come with screws, but I don't know. We'll see. So 
So I popped, I went ahead and popped the cover off just to see what was going on because it's just one wire, a power wire. And then I looked on the back here and here's the ground strap where it makes contact to the trailer. So it's just, this is definitely my power. And then I'll have to contact the trailer with the ground and use another one of those eye connectors. All right, let's move on to the bolt buckles. If we come down here, we want to connect the bolt buckles to this rear cross member on our trailer. Most trailers already include holes to mount accessories to, so in many cases, you're not gonna have to drill. But if you don't have any holes back here, you will have to drill into this rear cross member. It's not really that big of a deal. First thing we need to do is take a bolt and washer and insert it into our bolt buckle just like so. Voila. Now in this context, there is no right or wrong hole to put this into, but for the sake of this installation, I like putting these into the outermost hole on your boat trailer. So it's pretty simple. Don't forget your washer on the back side as well. And then take your lock nut these happen to be 5 eighths of an inch, so you're going to want a 5 eighths socket and a 5 eighths wrench. The wrench you put onto the boat buckle side and then the ratchet you're going to use on the back side of the trailer, like so. Kind of takes a little finesse and coordination, but I believe in you, you can do it. All right, as you can see, we got started to get snug so we can orient this straight up and down. And then we come in for the final lockdown. And when you're tightening down the hardware of the boat buckle, I definitely recommend to go extra, extra tight. You're not gonna break those bolts and you don't want these rattling loose at all when you're towing your boat. And then obviously, repeat the same steps for that side. So to use the boat buckle, it's very simple. You just press the lower button and pull. Then we're gonna come up here and I'll be attaching it right down there. And let's come back. Now there's a little lever on the back side. Let's see if I can show you guys. There's a little lever on the back side. So you wanna hold that and ratchet. And then check our straps. Oh yeah. Not going anywhere. And then when it's time to loosen, you just go ahead and press the button, unlatch, and she retracts. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. We are looking good, good, good. Sorry for the backlight. And now we can get rid of this piece of crap. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps this one up. I wanna say thank you for watching this video. These are my two must have mods for your boat trailer. Definitely those LED lights makes you more visible because you guys know you're driving out to the lake first thing in the morning when it's pitch black out. So you wanna be safe. You wanna make sure everybody can see you so they don't run into your boat. So you can protect your investment and yourself and your lives. So definitely, definitely get some LED lights for your trailer. And I hope seeing me do this has given you the confidence to try it yourself. Save some money, buy some more fishing gear, and just do it yourself, guys, because it's really not that difficult. I know wiring intimidates a lot of people, but it's really not that tough. So hope you learned something. And then, of course, these boat buckles. Oh, my gosh, guys, I'm going to be using this boat a ton. Absolutely every chance I get. And... You guys will see soon what I'm really gonna be doing with this vessel. And 
I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need a very fast, efficient, effective way to strap down the boat real quick, bing, bam, boom, get in and out of the water so I'm not messing around too much because like I said, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with this boat. So I don't wanna be spending a lot of time stowing it and getting it ready for travel. I just wanna boom, hook it up and go. So definitely check that out. If you don't, it's kind of overkill for the John boat, but guys, you know what? I'm okay with that. I like a little bit of overkill to make my life a little bit easier. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with some awesome night shots of the LED lights. Uh, can't wait for the sun to go down because these things are super bright during the day. So I'm excited to show you guys. And I just wanna say again, thank you so much for watching this video. I've got some more mods coming for the boat, but it'll be a few episodes. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can see more boat mods, more fishing and for that big announcement, I cannot wait. We are getting really, really close, guys. So, with that being said, my name's Eric. You're watching the Flow Bass channel. Post new videos every week. Make sure that you get out there and be inspired and go catch some big fish. I'll see you in next week's video. Peace.